Next guest is here to promote his new book right here, Tommy Land, which I swear to God he co-wrote with his penis. <laughs> he and his co-author are right over there. Say hi to Tommy Lee. Tommy! It's good great, to see you it's again. It's great to have you on, brother. It's been a minute, huh? I've been apologizing everybody for this interview that's about to go down, but this is uh -oh. the this is the book, and I was a big fan of the Crew book, that the Neil Strauss book. Yeah. But dude, this that's book, and there's some rock stars right now writing books. This is the book that you wish they would write. Like you didn't hold back at all. True. That I noticed. True. <laughs> was it? I mean, your life has just been. I mean, it's been crazy. Bananas. Bananas. Just from yeah. being born in Greece and just being in a, a band that. Like Motley Crue, and, and I mean, how do you even sit down to write this sort of thing? And you and you started off well, by the way. And then I'll let you talk. Um, <laughs> it starts off with you and your penis having a conversation. Do you talk often? Uh, oh, oh yeah, for sure, uh, all the time. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? Don't it? Like, come on, Show buddy. Hands? Come on, don't let me down now, buddy. Those come on. No, I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. <laughs> but what a crazy, crazy. What made you even want to write this thing? Um, I just, I, I recently just turned 42, and I had you know, a t about a year off in between tours and records. Uh, so I was like, you know, maybe now would be a really good time to, to write a book. And I like, I believe misconception is one of my worst enemies by far, because, you know, the, the things that people see in the press are just little blips and pieces, and a lot of it's untrue, and very little of it's true. And it just felt like, and I wasn't interested in writing, writing some fluffed up autobiography. Right. Or a, uh, you know, a chronological, by, uh, autobiography. I really wanted to kind of break the mold, and obviously, starting out with uh, me having conversations with my penis would be a way to break the mold. It's unbelievable. It was definitely and, an, yeah. a nice conversation to have you had. Yeah, and I and I uh, and I figured this would be a good time to just lay it all out there, and then maybe I won't have to answer any more stupid questions because right. I get asked a lot of stupid questions. Right. Um, I have six in a row. Excellent. I'm about to ask Excellent. You, you offer up some of your uh, some of your love uh, tips and su suggestions. Uh, surprised by some of the things I read in here, that one of which was you highly recommend uh, larger women, big yeah, girls. Yeah, I mean they're uh, they're fun. I like all sizes and shapes. Of women. What is it about the the, the larger uh, woman that you seem? I, I don't know. For some reason, the experience. Is it just sex? The ex excuse me. It, the sex. The oh yeah, it's they're just they just seem wilder. Like it's like it's almost like they don't get to play a lot or something. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, but I, I'm with no, you. No, but I'm with you. Um, they, I don't know. They're just a little. They're a little crazier. They're they're, they're a lot of fun. Have you slept with all kinds of women? Uh, kinda. Just, do you have a choice that you've stuck to, like a like a penthouse type chick or a porn star, or are you just like equal opportunity sex from your rock and roll life? Yeah, equal opportunity. And and right now, like you would think, I I have a, a preference for blondes because of my last two wives, but I I actually don't. Um, that just kind of worked out that way. Right. Um, I actually prefer the dark, exotic, brown, dark-haired, you know, Brazilian. Uh, right. Yeah. You've had sex with a lot of them, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, right. What, now, you're also against threesomes, which I found interesting. Yeah, I am What's against... What's the problem with threesomes? Well, unless there's some hybrid uh, male out there that I don't know about, someone's left out. Right. Right? I don't know. I, I, I know. Come on. I, I'm assuming so. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. You should have, like, it should just be even numbers. Sure, sure. So like a 16 sum, so, which everybody's. Yeah, so nobody's left out. That's the terrible thing when someone's sitting there by themselves. What's the most girls you've been with at once? At once? Yeah. Four. Have you just been in a full blown orgy where the room's going crazy? No, I haven't done that yet. Really? Yeah, and, 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 and these days I'm doing everything I haven't done yet. That, those are, that's on my list. You are right now, really? Yes, yes. 42. Yes, What's sir. left out? That's one of them. What else? What are you looking forward to conquering? Um, sex. I, well, I haven't been to Egypt. I want to go stand at the top of some pyramid, play right. drums in Zimbabwe, and have some, sex on the pyramid. And have, yeah. Right. I haven't done that yet. You haven't. You, no. should, you should do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if you actually know this, but many of us have seen you have sex. I, there's I, a uh, <laughs> there's a there's a tape that leaked with you having sex with Pamela Anderson. I know. You look like you know what you're doing, but. Uh, <laughs> Seventy-seven million dollars. That thing. Yeah, that's a Wall Street Journal report. Do you get that, that money? What? Well, we didn't get a dime of that. Not one penny. Of the, the that's Supreme, crazy. We, How? Uh, well, I don't know. We we fought in court, and uh, the, the 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 judges denied us, and uh, we took the, we took it to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme right. Court. Uh, it, your sex judge, tape went to the Supreme Court. It, it was crazy, crazy, and they deemed it newsworthy. 
How, right. But how was how was having? I think sex it was your, your size wife? made it newsworthy. <laughs> it wasn't just average; it was newsworthy. That's cr I just that's just crazy. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And of you life. really paved the way for these other sex tapes because, like Paris, like her tape, she I think made herself director. We were talking about, and she can like make money off it now. And wow. You're like the Jackie Robinson of sex tapes. Wow. You, I'm honored. I'm honored. No, um, I'm. I'm at, when that came out, I was like, whew, finally, somebody else can take it. Here, go, right. run with it. <laughs> how did? Can I just ask how that got out? I mean, you just think if you have this thing, you just um, lock it crazily in a safe uh, or something. Pamela and I were, um, we were remodeling our entire house, and uh, the, the the people that were working on it suggested we put all of our valuables in a safe. Right. So we locked everything up because the house is pretty much open and being torn apart. We went to Christmas. We went to London, excuse me, to cel to celebrate Christmas. Right. Came back from London, and I was going down to get something out of the safe, and I went. It was hidden behind a big roll of carpet, the carpeted wall, and um, excuse me, and uh, I went back behind the carpet, and the, the, the entire safe was gone with all of our stuff, like cameras, watches. Uh, there was guns. There was the sex tape, the, the tape, uh, right. um, wedding photo, like everything, oh, all of crazy. our memorabilia. Inside job? Um, we 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 think so, and we don't know for sure. But uh, the entire safe was gone. So right. Um, they guess you can't really, there's nothing else you could do, you know? Yeah, and it's not like a little safe. This thing was uh, about the size of a fridge, empty. Right. It weighed 500 pounds, so it had to take a few guys and a right. dolly. That is crazy. It's bananas. This book is so, this, I mean, the book speaks to basically uh, being in a rock band and living the rock and roll lifestyle is awesome. What would you like for, like, just like some 16-year-old dude that, like, idolizes you? What do you want him to read about this book and the craziness in your life and take away from it? Well, along with, you know, the, the crazy stuff that's in there, there's also um, a bunch of things and a bunch of things that I've been through, um, particularly some of the bad things in my life. Um, and there's some information in there that really helped and helped sort of change. Like a drug thing or like behavior in jail, stuff like that? Yeah, or... there's, uh, there's, some, there's some jail time stuff in there. There's some books that I read that absolutely opened my eyes to a bunch of new stuff. Um, so there's some stuff to, to take out of there. Um, it's sort of a, a, a smorgasbord. You sort of pick and choose what you'd like to take away from it. But there's plenty in there to to take away. Right. Can I ask you, I, I want to mention, I know we can't talk about it, but the premise that Tommy's doing for a new reality show, it's on NBC? Yeah, NBC. Is uh, Tommy going back to college? Mm. Right? No, is that the deal? not going back, never been. This right, time. okay. My well, first never time. Been. Yeah. Right. <laughs> never been. Going to college. Well, I got a, I got a record deal when I was uh, 17 in my, my senior year of high school. So, um, but you're shooting this thing, and I don't know how yeah. much you can say about it, but that seems, and it's not yeah. just like a week, like you're like enrolled back in a school or something? What yeah, can you say? Yeah, I'm, I'm in a, uh, you just just picture this, and your mind will go with all the the details. But um, uh, it's fish out of water, rock star goes to college, dropped off in middle middle America, Lincoln, Nebraska, and so you can just imagine. And goes the, and lives there. Oh, and, oh yeah, I'm living. And in, are you banging college chicks? <laughs> I forgot you people were here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was about to order another beer too. Yeah. Like, what? Did they air the show? Let, let me get the show off the ground first. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but I mean, are you being you? I mean, are you having oh, yeah. a good time? Oh yeah, we're doing. I'm studying. All right. Um, I got a really. No, you're studying. You're I'm not studying. For real. I'm taking tests. Really? The whole what are you studying? Yeah. Taking it. What was the last test you took? Like? I took. Uh, I took a, a, a horticulture test. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And what kind of student are you? You doing good? Uh, I, I, I believe I aced the test. When I get back there, uh, I'm leaving to And you go sit tomorrow. in class and take notes and then go home and study. Oh, and, yeah. And then bang the girls and go back up and study on the computer. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. going to frat parties and stuff? Um, yes, going to frat parties. They must be boring to you considering the parties that you've thrown and been to. No, I actually saw something I, I, I've, I've seen which, which blew my mind. I didn't know this existed. It's called, it's called keg tipping. Do you know what that is? I mean, I can imagine, but what is it? Well, you hang on to the edge of the keg, right? And you put the the, the, the the nozzle in your in your mouth and you pump it. When you and you take the person, we we took this girl. She was up. We, when you take her by your ankles yeah. and you tip them upside down and they drink the beer upside down. It's a, it's a fantastic little sport. <laughs> Keg tipping. Keg tipping. That's fantastic. Yes, it is. That's, that's One of the many things. We'll come back and let's talk more about that uh, show. Cool. And dude, this book rules. Seriously, awesome, you did man. a really good job with it. Thank it's you. a lot oh, of fun. By the way, New York Times bestseller. Boom. Right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it right is. Here. It, just, it just entered. I'm so pumped. Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, New York Times bestseller. Yes! Tommy Lee. We'll be right back with Ray Mon Lamontagne. I'm sorry. Ray Lamontagne, we get back. Brother, did you rule?